But right here in the studio, I've been joined by Dr. Zenata Rawlings, who is daughter of former President Jerry Rawlings. Uh, she's the ambassador for the TV3 Disaster Relief Fund. She joins me in the studios. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes. Uh, you look quite Thank tired, you. uh, seeing your Wellington boots and whatnot. Where, where have you been? Uh, I've just uh, been in the Nima area, just assessing the, uh, the extent of the problem. And also, accompanied by the uh, TV3 team, we just uh, distributed some food items and a few other provisions and water, clean water, to the, um, the affected members of the community. Any observation on the state of the environment? Not good. The, um, the, uh, there's a huge drain that has not been completed and has become a... Uh, I think it's, it's more or less what you can call a health hazard, really, because it's right in the middle of the community. You've got a school that's right next to it, literally on the edge of this drain, which does not have any proper, any proper walls on the side of the drain. So there's the erosion occurring. You've got garbage that's being used to stop the erosion. You've got cattle feeding alongside there. There's refuse. There's human waste being disposed of in the drain. It's, it's a bad situation. And... Um, the, uh, there was actually there were actually a few young people who were actually quite annoyed to see yet another TV crew there, because they feel as though they are constantly complaining about the need for something to be done, and all they ever get is people coming to look, but nothing being done. So, we we saw a bit of the other side of the situation, the frustration of the uh, members of the community. Mm. I know when this uh, um, fund was launched, uh, you, you were the ambassador for the whole project. Mm. Uh, how's the appeal process been so far? Um, so far, we'd ha we've had very, very good reports. We've had a lot of people who've made donations in cash and in kind, and um, the, the, uh, the donations are still coming in. Um, we, we could do with a lot more and sooner rather than later because even though we we like to think about the fact that we're doing this over a certain period the fact is people are actually currently living in those situations now so the sooner we actually get the materials the uh, the necessary uh, provisions or the food or water to them the better so we really w would like people to bring in the materials sooner rather than later it's pretty interesting to know that the daughter of the uh, former president of Ghana, uh, Izanato, would want to take up this project. Uh, why did you decide to uh, you know, put yourself out as, as an ambassador for this project? Um, I think when it comes to situations like this, it's, it's, um, it's a case of not waiting for someone else to do it. If you're in a position to do something about anything, then you have a responsibility as a member of the society to do so. And it just so happened that um, there was a, um, a joint initiative because it was something that I've been thinking about. TV3 was, you know, dealing with this and coming up with this as well. So we put our resources together and um, that's what we're doing. Mm. And you're targeting to raise uh, nearly 10 million CDs. Uh, how achievable is that? I think, I think um, if, you, if you look at it from the point of view of, um, say, every, every uh, adult Ghanaian, say, contributing even 50 pesos, you could actually hit your target very quickly. If even 10 million people contributed a CD, you're looking at 10 million. Mm. You know, so it's, it's possible. It's possible. And um, I think what we're trying to do is to look at a combination of bulk contributions as well as, you know, little contributions that people can make. You know, as they say, Kitwa Binswa. So, you know, we'll take whatever we can to put it together to, to build up the fund. Right. You've been to the ground. Uh, you've seen what the people need. You've been distributing items to them. What exactly do you think that you can do to help them much more? And, and for viewers out, ho out at home who are watching us today, what sort of appeal would you like them to, to, to get? I think we seriously need a change in mindset. You know, it's, it's not enough for us to constantly have the sanitation day where one day a year somebody comes and cleans up your mess. We just need a complete mindset change where every person takes responsibility for that little space around them. You know, so if each individual can at least do that much, that, that, that noticing that we need to make a change to our environment, get cleaner about things, stop throwing away our refuse, and that in conjunction with the authorities who will clear up the refuse because some people are making an effort. They do try to clean up, but then they have nowhere to dispose of their rubbish. 
So it has to be a joint effort between people in the community who are doing what they can to keep it clean, and then the, uh, the companies responsible for clearing the garbage actually doing so regularly enough so people don't feel like they need to take, cut corners and dis uh, you know, dis dis uh, dispose of their rubbish in inappropriate means. Mm, and so what more items do you need? We could do with more mattresses, especially um, mattresses, clothing, and then um, you know, obviously food items, water, Mosquito coils are a very big one. You know, we, we found a lot of um, nursing mothers, pregnant women, as, you know, part of the communities that were affected, and they could do with a lot more support. So whatever we can get, especially targeting these, as mosquito coils are a big one. Mosquito nets, the mattresses, food items. Thanks very much, uh, Ezinato Rawlins. Uh, she is daughter of former President Jerry Rawlins and the ambassador for the TV3 Disaster Relief Fund.